Hey guys, what's up? It's Runek here. Um, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on the basics on CSGO Lounge. Uh, how to trade, how to bet, how to reply to people's ads. And as well, remember I did one of these videos back in the day on a different channel actually. Um, but this is a little bit different. There's a couple of new things. Um, first things first guys, log in. This is just a basic tutorial. Maybe some of the advanced users can learn something about maybe the new, you know, scams that's going around. Um, log out. I'm already logged in. Uh, there should be a, a login through Steam. Click it. It should take you to a Steam page. You enter your details. Click login. Um, it will probably send you a, a new email verification that you've got to type in because maybe it's a new program or a new computer or whatever. Um, and then it should take you to this. It should change the thing should show your profile you get a profile you get these buttons there shouldn't be anything in here from you uh, but then this is where you go to your steam uh, to get your trade URL, URL you go to your profile you click down below you click on your inventory trade office who can send me trade offers and there you go trade url you copy and paste it in here and you say change you can also create a new one if you want to do that or think it's yeah you can just change it if you want to just remember you got to update it here otherwise your inventory will not load um, so basically if you did this and you changed it and you refresh the page you should be able to view your inventory in csgo lounge remember that with steam that now the updated version that you if you traded something there should be or for them sake you bought something from the csgo market uh steam market uh there should be a seven day trade ban so i doubt that it will show here i haven't tested it yet um, but i am almost 100 percent sure it will not show here uh till that seven days is done um then basically you did this so uh Basically, now you can basically post a trade. You can go add trade. Your stuff will show up here. Uh, you got a knife. Like I have a, a factory new bayonet. Ah, oh, bayonet. Butterfly fade. Now I'm looking for. Um, okay. There's always a large search thing here, so you can always just narrow it down. You're looking for a knife, or you're looking for an M9 uh, bayonet. Just wait for it. here. You get all your M9s. You're looking maybe for like a fade or whatever. And you can, what you can do is you can uh, take the screenshot links, link your screenshot you take from your Steam, and you can just post it here. Um, because obviously, or you, because obviously people would like to see your play side and your and your uh, uh, flip side of your knife, and just give you more details like full fade or whatever. You can type in whatever you want here to make the post. And you post your trade and it will show on your my trades um, basically after I think it's 20 to 25 minutes you will be able to bump the trade which just means when you go to CSGO Lounge it will just bump it to the top and if you get a reply here next to your trade you show a number one and when you click on it and you go to trade uh, people will post knives or offers or anything you know anything that 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 they would like to offer for your knife um okay um let's just go more things uh you can also show matched it should show people that have the knife you're looking for and they are looking for something more towards what you have so you can go here and you can click on their names and you can reply with what you have uh this guy's got a lot well okay well this guy's got a hell of a lot of offers and then you can add items to offer and it should show your items and then you can just add you know whatever you want to add and say post reply and just i'm not a robot you know then that shows that you can post reply um same goes to well nice picture same goes to all the other ads you know you can see okay this guy's got a factory new you want to make an offer this guy's got this he's looking for that you know and you click on the name you can see the guy's trading reputation he's got a reputation plus two his trades are 80 messages 236 
Um, so you can post a trade on what he has and so on. Um, okay, that's pretty obvious stuff. I mean, everyone knows basically how to trade. Now, the main thing is, remember, if you're a newcomer to CSGO trade, people will try and not always scam you, but they will try and, and, and you know, milk you for your... your they, they, they will think you are totally retarded when it comes to trading and they will try and 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 steal your stuff, you know? Um, or, or get a massive win from you. That happened before. I mean, um, everybody have done that before. <laughs> I mean... Uh, check my see, see see this guy he's got trades this guy's a new guy you know he doesn't really know the the ins and outs of sees good trades just you know when when it comes down to um people offering stuff that's too good to be true you got to know that 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 is not legit you know um people will try and fool you uh there's a couple of let me quickly go to my friend invites wonder if i have anyone that's maybe like a scammer okay I normally generate okay first things first your items are probably important to you it is important to me because it's worth a lot of money i've been scammed before that's why i'm making this video in the first place um check here you normally check a a a a, a profile you see it's got scammer on the comments obviously you're not going to trade with this person you're not even going to accept it you're just going to block it straight away um but do not always be fooled by the comments because I've seen people with plus rep that will try and scam you or will try and, um, um, you know, rip you off. Um, things you got to also look at is when you trade with someone, uh, if you're a starter and you're not sure on how to use CSGO Lounge, you use the basic stuff, you know, use a normal trade. Make sure, what I've seen before as well, I've traded a, a, a I had a, or pink DD pad factory new and I wanted to trade it for a Vulcan factory new um, the guy posted the factory new Vul Vulcan on the trade and then he made an error so that it posted there was an error but after I saw okay cool this is a factory new did the trade again then he added a field tested one thought I wouldn't notice and then that's how they wanted to scam you as well so it's not always that they will steal your item, but they will, they will, you know, they will wangle it so that they can maybe get a massive win. So watch out for that as well, um, because a lot of them that scam you, they don't, they don't scam everyone. So sometimes a lot of the comments will be plus rep and good trader and all that kind of nonsense. Um, always also avoid middleman. Never do that. Go straight forward. If you're a newcomer to CSGO Lounge, your items are going to be important to you. Um, avoid that completely. Also, do not go for um, 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 cash. Don't do PayPal or any of that because I can assure you 90% of the time you are going to get scammed. Shitless. Don't do that. Um, never click links. That's pretty obvious. Most of you guys should, use, should know that. Um, uh, yeah, and then basically just check the profile guys the profile will tell you a lot what look at the inventory um, basically go to the inventory um, See that they're playing the game see that they got enough hours L Just check the profile that's legit. I'll show you my uh, thingy now check that they got the item in their um, Inventory that you want to trade because that's that's obviously the main thing if they don't have the item um, one more thing what I've also experienced was sorry I know this video is getting a bit bit long but what I've always also seen is that guys would have a, a too good to be true offer like I had a bayonet uh, a, a karambit crimson web but like a well-worn one I wanted to trade for m9 bayonet factory new uh, new fade uh the guy said he doesn't want to trade it for my knife because he wants to sell it for an item that was on the steam market there was only two of them on the market but obviously they w it wasn't worth the money that the that the knife was but there was only two so you couldn't really tell but if you looked in the sell history you would see that item was selling like for five dollars or so so his friend put it on on sale but they deleted each other from from steam so it doesn't look like they are connected and he would say no he doesn't want to trade the item for an item he would like to trade it for that item so if you can 
trade it with that guy and get that item, he will trade you the the fade. Watch out for that, because that guy will scam you. That is a scam. It is not going to happen. That trade will not happen. I'm telling you, avoid stuff like that, guys. Make sure you trade item for item only. Make sure that the item is in the class, the 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 uh, uh, the condition that you are looking for. Uh, be very very careful because people will try and rob you um, then uh, what I want to go is just basically you guys will like to sorry I'm actually got a lot of these things written down on paper as well uh, different kind of, that's just okay then obviously you guys want to know how to do bets uh, the betting system is is also pretty simple it it also uses your your, your trade link um, you get all kinds of games. Uh, obviously, the percentage is how much uh, you will get paid out for the amount you've invested into the game. Um, let's say for argument flip side versus hell raises. Um, you get your inventory. This is the money worth. You can like post these for. And basically, if you wait. Now I'm confused. Okay, wait. If you if you uh, bet on Hellraisers, this is the value of your items. If you bet on them, you will get a hundred and ten, hundred and eleven dollar return. If you bet on them, you'll get two hundred and eleven. Now, basically, uh, this is the best of one. I would go small on that, but anyways, I'm not here to tell you what betting advice is the best. Basically, if you guys are new and you guys are unsure, CSGO Reddit bets. Just Google that. And it will take you to a page. Which is good if you are unsure. Remember that um, just because a team is good doesn't mean they will always win. Um, and watch out for like North American teams. They are they keen to throw for skins. That is, I've lost a lot of goodies because of that. So basically, um, wait, wait, let's see quickly. Um, Hell raises, Hell raises. Where's that game? Why am I not seeing it? Flip side versus Hell raises. Here we go. So you can basically check here. It shows the KD ratios. It shows basically the stats of the players in the team. It shows what people's feelings are regarding the maps. People will do a write up because of the teams, and 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 they will give their opinions on who they think will win the game. So this is a good site to check before making your, your, your bet. And then, yeah. And then basically, if you pay out, you go to my bet. I actually got store stuff in the return. Hey. I can actually put that on. Let me show you guys. Uh, hmm, let's go here. Let's actually do this. Let's actually do this. I believe... Doesn't... What? It shows I got nothing in return. Okay, it doesn't matter. So basically, you put the items on the team. You post the bet. You will get your items here. It will show a bet here active. And if you get returns, this is your returns. Okay. And you will get your winnings or you will lose the items completely. I must actually still request this back. Um, oh, okay. This is already my returns. Basically, if you, if you got your winnings, you can just click on it. Bring it all down to the requested returns. And you can click on it. Are you sure? uh okay bots are currently offline um if they weren't offline there will come a little pop-up window down below it will uh send a link or it will tell you like a little click thingy if the bots if the trade has been done or you can just go to your profile uh profile and you can click down and there should be a new trade notification and the bots will trade you your items you won or they will just send you back your returns if the team for argument's sake tied or uh, the game been DDoS or some shit happened. Um, so that's basically it. Another thing, just be careful, guys. Uh, teams like to throw as well. It's not always because the team is good that they will win. Um, the only team I have actually seen that is consistent with uh, with CSGO is Fnatic at the moment. They, um, you you at least have a 90% chance of getting your items back and having a win when you bet on Fnatic because they are the most constant team probably in the world at the moment. The other teams have their ons and off. 
Um, but that's about it, guys. Leave your comments and questions below, and I will try and answer it to the best of my knowledge. Thank you, guys.